what you can see is a really popular model for showing how pressure and volume change during breathing. It's the bell jar model and it's got a hole at the top uh, where the tube comes out the top of the, 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 the bell jar. It's got two balloons attached to a uh, one each uh, a branched pipe inside and you've got the bell jar and a rubber membrane that domes into the bottom. So at the moment the, the, the balloons are deflated and the membrane is domed up inside the bell jar. Now it, you can obviously see what aspects of the uh, human breathing system this represents. So we've got the trachea, which is the pipe at the top, it branches into two bronchi, and then the balloons represent our lungs, um, and the rubber membrane represents the diaphragm, and the bell jar represents the volume of the thorax or the thoracic cavity. So the lungs are inside a thoracic cavity. And what happens when we breathe is that we bring about uh, changes in volume that result in pressure changes inside the thorax. And if the pressure inside the thorax is higher than the air outside, air will be forced out of the lungs. And if the pressure inside the thorax is lower than the pressure outside in the air, air will move in from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. Now to achieve that, when we breathe in, the diaphragm, which is normally a, when it's relaxed in a domed position, the diaphragm contracts. And when it contracts, it gets shorter and flattens. You can see that the result of that is that the volume of the thorax has got bigger, it's increased. That results in a reduction in pressure inside the thorax and the lungs have expanded because the air has moved from an area of high pressure outside to a low pressure inside the thorax and the lungs have um, expanded as a result of air flowing in. When we then breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes and it gets longer and it domes up into the thorax. That reduces the volume of the thorax and increases the pressure inside there, forcing the air to leave the lungs and come back out into the atmosphere outside the body. So there we have it again, breathing in, diaphragm contracts, volume increases, pressure decreases, lungs inflate as air moves in. And then we relax, the diaphragm domes up into the thorax, reducing its volume, increasing the pressure inside, air forced out of the body. Now this model is very good for demonstrating what the diaphragm does. What's not good about it though? Think about this. What doesn't it show in addition to the diaphragm? I'll let you think about that.